The Adelaide Crows were conceived following a bitter local struggle for survival. The SANFL won the challenge for an AFL licence and set in motion events that would change the 114 years of South Australian football history. First, the new club had to have a board. An interim panel was elected. But they set to and began the formation of South Australia's team in the national competition. Their coach, Graham Corns, was a unanimous selection. A general manager, Bill Sanders, who was former president of the Woodville Football Club, he won that job. Neil Curley, the king, well, he just had to be a part of it. He controlled all matters football as the football manager. The most important appointments, the playing staff, were next, and they started their historic road in the AFL on October 29, 1990, their first training run. An administration team was put in place very quickly. Finance, marketing, promotion, management and support staff were employed. The interim board had done their work and were replaced in part and a duly elected group headed by Chairman Bob Hammond assumed control. Mr Max Bashir, President of the SANFL, was chosen number one member and all was ready. Well, nearly. Under Graham Corns, the players would have their most unforgettable pre-season preparation in their entire careers. 13 out of 14 days were devoted to training. It was hot, tough, long and demanding. They called themselves the Adelaide Crows. Train 13 out of 14 days was uh, something that we'd never experienced before. I guess that the, the bottom line was it just felt the, the right time to come back. Essendon to Adelaide to test themselves against a quality AFL side. The game was a magnificent opener. 40,000 people crammed Football Park to watch their new heroes wear the Crows jumper for the first time. The Bombers came with many of their stars out, but that didn't sour the win for the locals. Ecstatic and over the top with their win, the Melbourne media were bemused by the partisan behaviour of the South Australian fans and particularly the reaction of the press. Go for holding the ball, no, but there should be a free kick for Lindsay. No, the umpire's let the play go. Crows in full flight, straight at the big uprights, and there's the first goal of the match to the Adelaide Crows, and they're looking pretty good. Redbone now, only small but very quick, and he is hit very hard by Romano Negri, and players letting the tensions get to them early. Been in it early too. Regarded as a very good junior, Peter Somerville at one stage was said he may come to Adelaide when he wasn't getting a lot of time with the Essendon side. The mark is taken up full by Paul Sam, a change bench for the Crows as well. Smith, Hocking, Nicken, good experience with the Brisbane Bears as we watch Paul Sam from 45 metres, 45 degree angle, puts the ball in. We're used to him kicking goals, no mistake. Ford Hodges on a couple of occasions. Throw in from the side, Madden gets front spot. McGuinness, gee, he's everywhere tonight. Puts the ball into the square. Flug again, ball comes to ground. Filky, not holding the band. No, Jarman goes through a web, gets the handball across to Klug. Doesn't miss from there. Puts it through, and John Klug has his first. The Crows have this. Very acute angle at his very best. He'd make the, the distance. We saw it at the Sydney Cricket Ground where he kicked that monster goal, and he's done it again. What a tremendous goal from Bruce Lindner. Another player in that category now, David Marshall. He's got a player running for him. It elects to go long. He's looking for Hodges, and that's a, a tremendous battle we're seeing between Hodges and Danaher. Ball comes to ground. Maynard off the ground and belts it through for the Crows fifth. As Bruce said, it was 45,000 people. Believe it or not, it's a trial match. As the kick comes in from the Crows from Stephen Schwert. Guinness again. Gee, he showed us some great football. Gee, if he maintains this form all year, won't he be a great player? It's in it. Important four or five minutes coming up. A goal to either team here will be very handy before half-time. Filthy threw it away to Hocking. Hocking's hands are very good. Marshall from 50 metres. Nice kick. Wanganin. Alessio. Danaher. Smart. McGuinness, who's been quite outstanding. Third bounce. Charges towards goal. Hodges. Good 
week. Kicked five goals in his first trial the other day and said they said he was totally out of condition. Well, he looks pretty good and he's kicked that one out there. Brian won't be too happy with that kick. As Warhurst puts the ball in, Scott Lee. He's got some room to move in. Puts the ball up to centre wing. Darren Smith should take that. Good strong mark, Darren Smith. The handball. Down ground to Maynard. Maynard sends the ball forward. Lindner, good use of the body. But played on. Perhaps he shouldn't have. Should have had a look. But is it going to dribble through my word? It is. And, uh, the medical staff from Essendon working on it. And we would expect that he will take part uh, in a few minutes. Be back on the ground. So clue to row to centre half forward to Hodges. So Klug with a torpedo that uh, covers about 60 metres to the goal square. Hodges takes off early. Micken paid it. Yeah. Sure has. Micken won't miss from here. He'll be dead in front, two metres out. And he should extend the Crows' lead to eight points. They lead by two, seven. Micken stayed behind the pack. All he has to do is put it over Alessio's head. He gets him close to the man of the mark and kicks it out of the stadium. Hits the back of the grandstand. And Mark Micken would be pretty happy with that. Ball up by umpire Mark Mackey. Four. Can he do it? He can. Marshall's got two. Goes out to the centre of the ground to Jarman. Super Mark Andrew Jarman will kick for goal from 15 metres out. No angle at all to speak of. Just looking at his first. Crows need this. They've got it. Fly from behind by Maynard. Sent in long again, Klug again. Good pair of hands, John Klug. And he's got cramp to boot. Races the ball out of defence. Has Kelly, he's gonna get caught. Another handball to Scott Lee. Now McGuinness, good hands from the Crows. McGuinness goes long, but the kick should go down. Straight. A good mark under pressure, David Gren. They've got this in the bag. 24 minutes and 45 seconds on the shot clock. Hodges and Danaher again. It's been an enthralling battle. Hodges Take a free kick. No, he's not. He's given one away. No, I beg my own pardon. He's going to take the free kick. Glad that he's settled his contractual misdemeanor. He's made it four for the night. The Crows have won this. 13 for Here's a siren. A tremendous. Very, very happy. Virtually led all. Live from Football Park. Good evening and welcome to Football Park in Adelaide for this historic match. It's the Adelaide Crows against Geelong, the first round of the Fosters Cup, the first time that Adelaide has played an, in an official match in the AFL and the first time that South Australia has been in this game. A healthy crowd here, a very warm night uh, in the stadium, a crowd of over 20,000 people. We can on screen as we take a look at the coaches and the acting captains for tonight's match. Graham Corns for Adelaide and Malcolm Blight for Geelong. Acting captain for the Adelaide Crows, Tony McGuinness. And for Geelong, it's Andrew Buell. Because there's a blue at centre half forward, but uh, it's all been sorted out. Geelong kicking to the left of screen. Buell's won the toss. Greg Scroop with the ball and Hayden Kennedy, the two umpires. Allowed to go on. Paul gets the first kick to half forward. Smart in the front spot. But out comes Hodges. And the crowd down in front of us here are going wild. The Crows with the first distinct opportunity. Good play there by Hart. Picking the lead, which was an excellent one by Hodges. And he'll shoot from about 40 metres out. The angle is fairly difficult. Lovely long drop punt kick, but it's off to the Now right. reconstruction, Marshall goes early against Couch. Marshall, who had a great season with Glenelg last year, best in first, Hughes, Klug, and then McDermott, now Hodges. Well, that was a wonderful mark. Well, he went early and stood up and took it strong. He's a very strong player, as we saw there, where he got in front. Nell just could not get his body over because there was good positioning by Hodges. Here it is on replay. He got up well and cop one across the chop. 40 metres out, drop punt, good. Hit the post at the last moment.
Well, it was home and hosed. In fact, it's been paid a goal. Geez, looked like it hit the post. It certainly hit the post, but it may have been that the ball no. could have hit the back of the post. But also, it's the win. Now, here's the lead. Hodges in front of Nell. And now the kick. Now, there is a strong bl breeze blowing from right to left. Now, maybe that ball had gone over the line. The umpire... Twerk to centre half forward. Linda and Hockey. A chance here for Hart. He should walk in and goal. Drop punt. Good kick it through. Harman was just inside the field of play, so it's a boundary throw in. McDermott's kick towards half forward. Dropping back there and showing tremendous courage for Geelong was Buse. Now there's an opportunity for Klug. Klug to kick. Oh, here's a, a mark to Lindner. It's looking for one. Jarman to Schwert. The Crows uh, try and set it up. Thompson with a high one. Lindner in the front spot playing against his old teammates tonight. And so Lindner from the centre square. And he can really boom it if he gets onto it. He goes to Hodges. Great hands. And there's good hands again. The other he's going to be a real problem, this boy, uh, Don, if he starts to get used to what it's all about. His teammate. Now the Crows will come forward. It's Marshall with a little bit of space. The kick towards half forward. The mark is taken by Hart. And he's got a little bit of experience on young Phillips, who has only played a couple of senior games. Now Hart into the pocket. Good lead there by Hodges. Round onto the right foot. The hook kick into the square, but dropping back as Hinkley. And he marks on that last line of defence. Oh, the clearing kick is an absolute shot. It's out of bounds, not on the full. You are so lucky, Ken Hinkley. This competition, Nicken, is going to be paid. He's in dispute over his contract this week, but it's all sorted out and he's playing for the Crows. Left foot to centre half forward. Schultz going back on it with Hocking. Klug. The give was good to Filkey. High one. Linda should take it. He does. 50 metres out. He could nearly kick this if he has a go. It's a long kick normally. He's erratic. But he can really kick a footy. Drop punt is a good one. Right there. Klug at the back takes the money. His way through. And he's gone for holding the ball. And Couch will get the kick out of the centre. He's inspired tonight, Linda. I haven't seen him do that before. Race off the square as he did on that occasion. Stowe, Buse went without it. Just took his eye off it. McDermott's left foot to centre wing. Jarman outpaced for the moment by Mansfield. Jarman keeps the pressure on. Filky, the back turn OK. McDermott, Jarman, good football pros. To centre half forward, Klug in the front spot. At the back, Hart, he should give it to him. Decides not to. He's got Lindner, doesn't go for him. Had Lindner at centre half forward. Hodges cleverly, kneeled with him. Kneeled still with him, no free kick. Here's Hart, should go. One bounce, and he puts it through. Some aerial stuff there, McDermott. Left foot kick, McCrabb over the top. Opportunity now, Linda off the ground. Is that a goal? It is! Oh, Linda nearly had it again. Coming through is Mansfield. Mansfield across centre half back. Kicks it wide to the wing on this member's side. Nearly a mark there to Kelly, was it? And the opportunity for Lindsay to kick into the pocket. A little too high for Hart. Gee, they've got players everywhere. What could Hart do again? He's dogged it. The crowd is sixth. To Micken, who a lot of his good players in defence for Marshall, he's got Filky. Will it get to him? It sits now. Goes backwards. Goes to half four. They've got a paddock here for McDermott. Will it sit? He can go all the way. He can bounce as many times as he likes. He'll hit Hodges on the chest. It was wonderful footy. Lace out that. Now Hodges is already on the way before Linda McDermott had picked that ball up. He got away. And there was just no way Noni, the fullback, Mel, could kneel. McGuinness. Plenty of time. Drop punt to the pocket. Hodges again. Well, he's uh, too good at the moment, except he just can't get a goal. Mick in the target. Burke at the back. Lindsay. Gee, did that well. Filkey's had 100 touches. Well, I don't know if Maynard was ready for it, but he's got it now. Again towards Hodges. It sits. Didn't take it, kneeled interfered with by his own player. Clerk's handle to McGuinness is very good. He's got the pace to go. Right foot, it goes through. It's back to Hocking. Hocking gets the hand pass away to Micken. Micken's left foot kick. Inside 50. Hodges, good punch away by the Geelong defence. Opportunity now for Mansfield. He's well caught. 
brilliantly caught there for the Crows by Schwerk. Got to three. Lindsay almost. Marshall. Back to Lindsay. High one. Hodges one out. Getting back Schultz to help out. Hodges almost. Klug had to wait for it. Didn't do all that well. Malakellis did very well to Neil, who got rid of it in a hurry. The give by Hart was good. McGuinness has shot. He really could have done better. Klug missed by Hooper at the back. McCrabb. Little give to Exel. Fielke just sweats on him, so does Jarman. They want a free kick. Jarman scoops it out to Klug. He's got Hart inside of him. Could have gone to him, goes to Hodges. It's hard for a full back when there's so much space in front of the full forward. And uh, Hodges is an exceptional lead. And there is going to be a 50. No, only a 10 metre penalty. No, no 50 metre. Right he's going to pull him right back. And he gets the opportunity to kick from right in front, no angle. Is this a new rule, Bruce? Well, I guess he's only 30 metres out, so he's brought him right up. Marshall from Warhurst. Hocking will be the target. It's got him at centre wing. Negri is uh, loose if he wants him. Klug the target now. Schultz against him. Klug with Negri inside of him. Can't get rid of it. Now Negri in the pocket. A floater. Hodges. Sitting down, Maynard, snap, go, hits the post. Neald, long kick from the uh, full-back position. Wide to half-back and a great mark taken by Smith. He's inspired, kick into the man on the mark. Now a shot by Kelly, long kick. Crows fans on their feet and it's another goal. Mark taken by Hart, looking to play on, little chip pass. All oh, under enormous pressure there was Schwert. Hart kick off the ground, back towards half-forward, Clue. Oh, intelligent football. The player running past is Marshall. Running up towards the 50 metre line. He could nearly kick a goal. He can bounce it again if he likes. No, he goes for the shot and it is a goal. Magnificent. That bit of football. Smith has just come on. In the front spot. Bruns didn't sit for him. Marshall. McDermott's little gift to Maynard. Smith will go backwards to, Mar to Jarman. He just chips it to Hart. It's a good kick. It's a very good kick. He's got Klug. Still Hart. Left foot's OK. That's good footy. Play on to Filke. It was touched. Now Filke's kicked around his body. And he has put it through. Kick by Thompson. Goes out towards centre wing. No mark taken. Good gather by Kelly. And he backs himself. Goes through half back. Kicks it towards half forward. Now the Crows are in the van. At the back, Hart. Somehow got on his own. A little chip pass is too far. No, it's not. The mark is taken for the Crows by Tregenza. Well, who Nell I didn't notice, but he must have just come he's on. He's just the come on, but Nell let him off that time. He should have kept going and taken the ball away. But he let him off. Dashing youngster is Simon Tregenza, and he could kick a goal here from only 25 to 30 metres out. And he just casually pops it through the centre. Under pressure back there was Warhurst. Somehow the Crows get it clear. McGuinness goes to Tregenza. Tregenza's kick. A high drop punt to half forward. Smith tried to knock it on, which was intelligent play. Didn't quite work. Ball comes back in towards the centre. Stoneham a great tackle on McDermott. Jarman gets the ball, but handball short. Kick off the ground now by Devlin. Goes back in towards the centre. Gather by Filke. A good feint. Now it goes wider to Kelly. Kelly runs up the inside 50, goes for goal with a drop punt and puts it through. Break the Marshall tackle, well played by Filke to Smith. Smith's got a panic, Hodges the target. It won't get that far. Hart, Hodges and Neil. Hodges did well, gives it to Hart, left foot and he drills it home again. Chris fourth. By Marshall to half forward. Klug, good handball inside. Tregenza, Hodges. Teammates from Port Adelaide over the top. Hart, Devlin with him. Hart did well not to fall over. Still Hart. This is his fifth. Bangs it through. Play on. Good decision. Hocking over the top again with Exel. Hodges off the ground. Exel over the top. Hodges wants a free kick. Gee, Hocking did well, didn't he? Hand yeah. pass. Goes back to McGuinness. McGuinness, long kick to the front of the goals. Punched away. Now an opportunity here for Klug. A left foot snap shot is a miracle goal. Threw it on the boot. Here's Don Scott says a real specialist off the interchange. Klug in the front spot.
Strong mark against Schultz. It's pretty critical of this guy in the third quarter. He's stuck to his guns. I tell you what, he's a... Uh, what would you call him? Uh, Socks down, no nonsense. Yes, it's... Uh, and there's Schultz behind he's been in front most of the night and he should learn that lesson don't be behind that's not his go he should always be in front that's the word i was looking for bruce let's see if he can kick this 30 meters out directly in front and the crowd like it it's another one happy with their team's first performance in the afl it may only be the fosters cup but it's the manner in which they've done it the kick goes towards centre half forward. Attempted quick kick off the ground by Smith. Ball comes wide to Bruns. He can't get past. Jarman always uses the ball beautifully. Tries to get it to McDermott. He's run down by Mansfield. Ball comes back to half. He may be slow, but he always has plenty of time. And the kick if he finds Filky. Well, there's four, there was meters. four to two on that occasion in favour of Adelaide. And again, indicative of the way they're playing. It's inspiring stuff. Don't know his long kick, but certainly he fancies himself from just inside 50. You kick right on the line, and it gets the distance, and it's a goal. On the line by 31, Negri, nearly written home there by Hooper. Bruns, Marshall, now an opportunity for McDermott. He shrugs. Drop punt kick to the front of the goals. Hodges can't mark, but they've got three on the ground again. And a great shepherd, his heart, he'll get his sixth, no doubt. Another goal to the Crows. Favourite, better to Tregenza, and Tregenza looks like he might have kicked another one. He has. Five. Kick by Hocking, and Hocking marks. About 45 metres from goal, deep in. Hocking now. Oh. Gets the opponent in stone and goes, and pops it through. Very good, McDermott. Long and high. Negri goes in. Hocking. Gary Hocking. Still in. From 40 metres, drills another one home. Good. The centre, Micken. Going all the way. Finish Thompson. Away to Micken. In front of the goals. Can't quite mark. Officially, another goal, Smith. And they celebrate here in 23 18, 70, kicking six, 13, 6 to 79. Lapid versus St Kilda. Waverley. One from AFL. Sports live and exclusive. Third quarter final at the versus the Adelaide Crows. So, really hard.